Hello friends. After covering motion in one dimension, we move on to the next topic that is motion in two dimension. By motion in two dimension, what we mean is the motion of the particle is restricted in a plane. That is if a particle is moving in this plane at some instant of time t, then after some instant of time delta t the particle should be in the same plane this is known as motion in two dimension examples of motion in two dimension could be an insect moving on a floor a carom striked on a carom board and a ball thrown in the air such that it follows a sudden path and is not deviated sideways these are the three examples of motion in two dimension now for two dimension motion velocity condition for a particle to be in two dimension motion is that the velocity and the acceleration vector should be coplanar the condition for 2d motion is the velocity vector and the acceleration vector should be coplanar now what i mean by coplanar is that the velocity and acceleration vector should both lie on the same plane in which the motion is occurring the reason for this is if the acceleration vector has a component in some other plane then it will tend to provide a velocity in that direction so ultimately the particle will jump out of the, that plane and move into some other plane and the motion will be a three dimension motion so that requires that velocity and acceleration should be coplanar now to solve questions on two dimensional motion what we do is we resolve the velocity vector and the acceleration vector into two perpendicular directions so if we have a velocity vector in this direction and we have acceleration vector in this direction we will resolve the velocity vector into two perpendicular directions and also the acceleration vector into two perpendicular directions as we have studied vectors we know that if a vector is resolved into two perpendicular vectors then we need not we can then we can deal with each of the components separately and the calculations become pretty simple so that is the reason why we choose two perpendicular axes now this is what this is what we all need to know about 2d motion now let's solve some problems on 2d motion the first problem is a particle starts moving from origin with zero initial velocity from time zero and it has acceleration in the x and y direction given by 2t and the acceleration in y direction is given by this now we are asked to find the equation of motion of the particle so as we can see the initially the particle is at rest and 
at time t is equal to zero, it is provided with acceleration given by this and this. Now, since it has acceleration in only two these two directions and it has zero initial velocity, the particle will continue to move in the x y plane. It won't come to the z plane. So, the the motion of the particle will be restricted in the x y plane, and so by intuition we can say that the equation of motion of the particle will be in terms of y and x. So, let's solve the problem. Now, the acceleration is x, x direction is given by 2t. So, I can write it as dv x by dt. Differentiation of velocity in x direction is acceleration in x direction, that is 2t. So, from here I will get the velocity in x direction as t square. Now, plus some constant c. Now, since the velocity, initial velocity is 0 in x direction, so I get this constant c as 0. So, the velocity in x direction is t square. Now, again we know that this velocity in x direction can be given by dx by dt. Now, again integrating, we will get x as t cube by 3. Plus, again we will get some constant alpha. Now, since the particle starts from origin, at time t equal to 0, the x coordinate is 0. So, alpha is 0. So, this we get x, a relation between x and t. Now, let us move on to the y. The acceleration in y direction is given by is one is a, or it's a constant. Now again we write write dvy by dt is equal to one, where vy is the velocity in y direction. Now we will get vy as equal to t plus some constant which is again equal to zero because initial velocity in y direction is zero. This we can again write it as dy by dt. So I'll get y as t square by 2 plus some, again some constant that is equal to 0 because the initial y coordinate is 0. Now, I need to eliminate t from these two equations to get a relation in terms of x and y. So, what I do is t I can write it as root 2 root 2 y. Now, I put this value of t in x and I get as x is equal to 2 y to power 3 by 2 by 3. So, this is the equation of motion of the particle. So, this was uh, this was our first problem in motion in one dimension. Now, let us move on to the second problem.